In my childhood home, we had an island in the kitchen with bar stools. If you sat at the farthest bar stool to the right, you'd be able to see through the door that opened up to the garage. One night, when I was about six or seven, everyone else in my family was either in their bedrooms or in the living room watching TV. My dad worked nights at Briggs and Stratton, so he wasn't home. I was sitting on the bar stool furthest to the right, having a nighttime snack, when I look over and see an eerily white hand wave at me. All I could see was the hand. I was petrified. I didn't know what to do or say. The hand waved again and pointed down at the doorknob as if to suggest I unlock it and open it. After that, I ran to the living room and yelled for my mother. She called our neighbor over to, the, to investigate. We lived in rural western Kentucky, so it took a few minutes for him to get there. When our neighbor finally arrived, he looked around and couldn't find anybody. It had been raining that night, but we couldn't see any evidence of tracks into the garage or in the driveway. The same thing happened to my sister not long after. She's one year younger than me. She told me she walked up to the door after the hand gestured to her and almost unlocked it but screamed and ran to my mother. To this day, I hate to think about what would have happened if either of us opened that door. And I hate to think about who had been watching to see that the two younger kids were alone in the kitchen or how long they had been watching.